Psalm 92 verse 1 says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, Most High, to declare your faithful love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. I want to challenge you today to worship God. I wanted to include this in this week's videos because I hope this is an encouragement to you in this time when churches have had to make some tough decisions about how they're going to conduct worship. But just because the church building itself is closed doesn't mean that you cannot worship God. I'm reminded of the conversation Jesus had with the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4. She asked him, where should we worship, on this mountain or should we worship in Jerusalem like you Jews say? And this is Jesus' answer. Believe me, woman, an hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. But an hour is coming and now is here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Yes, the Father wants such people to worship him. A couple things here. First of all, Jesus says the Father wants us to worship him. Also in a specific way, in spirit and in truth. But Jesus also shows that worship is not limited to a specific location anymore, like it was in the Old Testament, tied to the Jerusalem temple. Remember Paul and Silas? They're in Philippi in Acts 16. They're in prison, and about midnight they're singing hymns and praying to God, and the prisoners are listening to them. You and I can worship no matter where we are and at any time. One of the things that we're being reminded during this time is that the church is not about a location or a building, but rather the church is the people. The church is the relationship that we have with God through Jesus. It's the relationship that we have together as believers through Jesus. And those relationships continue even if the building itself is closed. Here's some specific encouragement to you fathers. Take the initiative to lead your families in worship. Pray with them read scripture with them, sing with them. This is part of our responsibility to lead our families and bring up our children in God's way. And I know that Zoom and worshiping on Facebook Live and watching a YouTube live stream, it is not the same as being together with your brethren. There is no replacement for physical worship uh, together. But there is also no replacement for worshiping God wherever you are. James 5.13 says, Is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone cheerful? He should sing praises. Those are things that you and I can do no matter where we are and no matter what circumstances that we're in. So I challenge you today, set some time aside and worship God because He is worthy.